Hi students, previously we discussed the definition of the image processing and the importance of the image processing and the applications of the image processing we discussed. And in this board, we are discussing and we are entering into our uh, textbook, our uh, syllabus, our uh, subject uh, image processing. So, according to our textbook and syllabus, what is a digital image? So, uh, as I said previously, digital image is a two-dimensional function. So, it is a function representing with the f and uh, uh, two coordinates x coordinate and the y coordinate two dimensions represented with the x and y and it is a two dimension so it is occupying in the x and y coordinates horizontally and vertically it is represented so occupying some space then here the x and y are spatial coordinates means x horizontally how much it is occupied and uh, vertically how much it is occupied x coordinate and the y coordinate that's why we are calling these coordinates uh, as a spatial coordinates and now the amplitude of f is called intensity or gray level at the point x comma y so at a particular pixel point the gray level or the intensity is called the amplitude of the f what is meant by amplitude amplitude means dimensions so we are representing with the dimensions x dimension and the y dimension and so dimensions this is the meaning of the amplitude so x dimension and the y dimension and in what is meant by intensity the strength how much enough uh, the image is occupied at the point x comma y so the f amplitude here we are calling intensity or gray level so See, this is the gray level image. This is the gray level image. By taking, and this is the color image. Uh, what is meant by gray level image? Uh, uh, the term gray level image is used to refer the intensity of the monochrome. Okay. This is the gray level, another example for the gray level image. Mo what is meant by monochrome? A single color or the uh, or it is in a black and white color. Only black and white color or it is uh, uh, made up of only single color. That is monochrome. Okay? Th then that is called a monochrome. Okay, and this is the color image. Color image means uh, it is using the RGB formed by the combination of uh, individual two dimensional images. The color image is a combination of individual two dimensional images. Okay, so it is a color image and formed by the RGB. You know the RGB red, green, and blue. So here we used the terms RGB, red, green and blue and amplitude and the intensity and monochrome, single color, black and white color. Okay. As I said, uh, the image is processing through the digital computer by means of digital computer, by means of computer. And the processing of a image in the digital computer, it covers three levels of processes. First, it covers, it may covers a low processing or a mid processing and a high level processing depending upon the inputs and outputs the image formed and for the processing 
uh, the categories of processing by the computer is uh, divided into three. And low level processing means the input and the output are images. And if the mid level processing is outputs are attributes and those are extracted from the input images and in the high level processing and uh, assemble of recognition of individual objects are giving as an inputs and, uh, and getting the outputs and you know the pixel means it is an element of the digital image why and why that image processing came into existence and why the image processing got this much of uh, import, importance in every domain areas means see if you observe this picture this is the digital picture produced in 1921 from a coded tape by a telegraph printer with special typefaces so this picture is sent by submarine cable between london and new york and the transportation time was reduced reduced to less than 3 hours from more than a week so it means uh, to transport our uh, images in occasions we take in so many images to transport uh, an image it is taking more than a week and if we use the digital images and um, taking from the digital devices then the transportation is reduced uh, around three hours in 1921's era okay so this is sent by submarine cable between london and new york and this is one of the origin the image processing the digital image processing came into existence and got the importance and this is other origin of the digital image processing it is the picture uh, taken first picture of the moon taken by U.S. spacecraft. The U.S. spacecraft name is Ranger 7. The Ranger 7 took this image on July 31st, 1964 at 9 9 a.m. EDT. And this is the picture uh, impacting the lunar surface before 17 minutes it is taken and sent it. So, this is the major imparting, uh, important uh, origins. The image processing came into existence and nowadays it is uh, very, uh, playing a very important role in all, all the fields and the machine learning and in the new, uh, new deep learning neural network also it is playing a very important role. So, we discussed uh, the origins of images. Origins of image processing. Okay. And now, we are discussing sources of sources of images. Uh, what we are uh, calling the sources of uh, images, what is meant by the topic of sources of images? Uh, suppose uh, we are capturing the image, a photo for example. Uh, by using which device we are capturing the image or photo? Uh, nowadays, commonly we are saying by using the camera, we are capturing the images and videos. Okay, so uh, in the previous, previously I told the original image is in the 3D view. Here you can see, here you can see the image is actually in 3D, three dimensional. Okay, and this image is captured by a camera, a device. Okay, a source of the device. 
and that is sent to the digital image processing system and this pro, uh, this image processing system uh, particularly focusing on the water drop of this original image so it is giving the water drop processed image as the output and these are the sources for images the uh, these are well known familiar sources for images the well known one a very popular one is the electromagnetic spectrum energy spectrum we are uh, shortly em okay so these are the electromagnetic spectrum capturing uh, devices the antennas the radios and monitors the dish okay so these are the electromagnetic energy spectrums by using the electromagnetic energy uh, these are capturing the images and next one is the acoustic uh, uh, source so for example the stethoscope is the best example well known example for the acoustic uh, source for the images and next ultrasonic we are familiar with this ultrasonic Uh, so in the hospitals we will see the devices like this so these are the uh, these are the ultrasonic uh, devices and next one are the electronic uh, sources for images electronic sources means we are familiar with those for a well known one is a camera nothing but a camera and next is the synthetic images produced by computer so the computer producing uh, the images uh, those are synthetic images now coming to the electromagnetic energy spectrum uh you all are studied this electromagnetic energy spectrum in the physics uh, this is a energy of one photon we are measuring this with the uh, electronic volts this image you will get uh, from your uh, textbook your prescribed textbook so based upon the electronic volts uh, we are taking the gamma rays up to uh, this range and next the x rays the ultraviolet rays range is this one and visible rays are the range is this one and uh, in the spectrum infrared uh, uh, range is this one and microwave range microwaves range is this one now this is the uh, last one radio waves and where we are using this uh, uh, electromagnetic energy spectrum means major uses we are using in the popular one is the gamma rays for the imaging okay where we are using this nuclear medicine and astronomical observations we are using these gamma rays and coming to the x rays we all are familiar with the x rays we have seen and so many medical diagnostics in the fractures mainly and in the in the industry and in for the astronomy also we are using x rays those are the sources of energy um, electromagnetic energy spectrum next coming to the ultraviolet rays these are lithography uh, these are used in the industrial inspection microscopy laser biological imaging and astronomical observations also we are using ultraviolet uh, electromagnetic spectrum rays images and in the visible and infrared uh, bands also uh, we are using these for the light microscopy astronomy remote sensing and industry and law enforcement and microwave bands means radar uh, images okay and radio bands very familiar one such as uh, mri and astronomy these are the electromagnetic energy spectrums next we will see uh, example uh, images now see these are the examples of gamma ray imaging okay so this is the example for the bone scan uh, taken by the gamma ray source 
and this is the PET scan and this is the image of sinus you can observe this and this is the image of the uh, produced by the gamma rays and next these are the examples uh, imaging uh, sources by x-ray imaging this is the uh, chest uh, x-ray chest x-ray and this is the circuit board x-ray so when when an image is produced by the uh, x-ray gamma rays is like these ones and by the source x-ray the circuit board is seems the image like this and this is the head section and this is the sinus uh, section and uh, when the source is ult ultraviolet imaging then the images are look like this this is the normal cone and this is the smart cone and this is the sinus loop next uh, with the light microscopy uh, source the images are look like this this is the taxol uh, and this is the cholesterol and this is the micro uh, microprocessor okay so in this way the images are uh, produced by the light microscopy source and by the source visual and infrared imaging these are the images we can get uh, and these images uh, mainly uh, depending upon thematic uh, thematic bands okay based upon thematic bands these are measuring all these images are very helpful in the medical uh, and in the geology and in the NASA producing all these images so the thematic bands for the visual and infrared imaging are uh, importantly NASA uh, by using these thematic bands suppose visible blue then the wavelength 0.45 uh, to 0.52 then the maximum water penetration they are uh, uh, taking this is the wavelength for the band number one thematic band number one for the characteristic uh, this band is for the characteristic maximum water penetration and for the good for measuring plant wiggle this is the second band visible green uh, the, the NASA and the geologists uh, and the medical in the medical field in so many field based upon these wavelengths bands they are characterizing and using the different types of and measuring different types of uh, uh, characteristics and diagnostics uh, so for the vegetation discrimination this is the band and for the biomass and uh, sh uh, shoreline mapping this is the band we call these uh, as near infrared and for the moisture content of soil and uh, vegetation this is the band measurement band thematic band used by the NASA uh, we calling this as middle infrared in the same way these mineral mapping for this band 2.08 uh, to the 2.35 and for the infrared satellite imaging the infrared satellite giving the images like uh, these okay and this is taken USA 1993 uh, this is in the 1993 this is taken and this is taken by the USA 2003 and this is the infrared satellite imaging another example you can see taken by the USA this is another one and now this is the automated visual inspection see this is the circuit board controller uh, automated visual inspection is look like this and this is the packaged pills the medical tablets and this is the these are the bottles okay these are the examples of uh, this is the air bubbles so these are the images automated visual inspection uh, we are using for the visual inspections 
automated uh, images like these and coming to another example another category of examples of uh, automated visual inspection uh, you can see the uh, the thumb print of is this one the thumb print okay and this is the paper image the this is the thumb print image and this is the paper image and after taking this thumb print image then we are matching with some characteristics in the database then we are saying the thumb print is matching or not and with this uh, paper image also we are saying like that only and this is the um, uh, plate automated license plate and these are the results of automated reading of the plate contained by the system from this plate this is the reading resultant image and this is the area the image system detected okay in this way we, uh, for all these kind of uh, usages for diagnosing diagnostics for different types of diagnostics we are using this image processing subject and another example is the radar image the radar image is look like this uh, this is taken by the nasa and mri images radio bands the radio bands this is the knee and this is the spine images these are uh, taken in the radiology and uh, radiological sciences in the medical university and this is the ultrasound imaging okay so the ultrasound images looks like this this is one example uh, so uh, by these many examples we came to know uh, uh, by these we discussed these many examples okay and with these many examples we came to know in so many main fields main domains using uh, the images uh, for the diagnostics uh, for the diagno uh, diagnosing uh, 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 diagnosing a virus and everything in water uh, diagnostic uh, for uh, parameters and characteristics in all fields for the diagnostic purpose we have to apply some parameters characteristics and filters detections upon the image then we came to know we are finding some diagnostics uh, like diseases sinus uh, like that okay so in the geology and in the medical and in the uh, nasa mainly okay and in the space everything and coming to the nowadays nowadays our uh, ai and AI field or machine learning, AI, deep learning, everything, everything is depending upon the image processing. Okay. In the next uh, class, we will see the steps of the image processing. Okay, listeners. Okay, students. Thank you.